Hello, I'm Adam and today I will show you next level of spot welding machine because as you may saw in my previous videos I was using uh, this kind of a machine which has a microwave uh, transformer inside and generally it was uh, very enough for the standard uh, pure nickel strips 8 mm width and uh, yeah, or the preset ones, yeah? And regarding current consumption, it was fine because, uh, let's say, uh, 8 or uh, up to 10 amps per cell is pretty fine for the nickel, yeah? But there is a problem, because if we will go with uh, 21700 uh, uh, cells, there is a problem because, uh, for example, those can output uh, like uh, 15 amps with uh, 5 amp hour capacity, so that's a lot. Uh, or even much more and uh, standard uh, thin uh, nickel uh, straps won't work because those will overheat and yeah and uh, what's the next step of uh, spot welding <laughs> unfortunately this step is pretty expensive because we need uh, to have a copper and uh, yeah we need to have pure copper and as you can see uh, there I've got a square uh, copper uh, sheet and uh, it has uh, 0.2 millimeter uh, thickness and uh, what's the difference between uh, copper and the nickel strip? Copper is uh, five times more uh, conductive and uh, there is no way to spot weld it. Let's try it out. I will turn it on. I've got even, okay, maybe let's do like, I'm not sure if you see, 13, which uh, normally it burned out my uh, just nickel strips. And uh, generally, if we will try to spot weld uh, the, okay, I will cut a strip, so it will be about the same. Okay, I've got copper strip. And if we will try to uh, spot weld just a pure nickel, just a pure uh, copper strip. Let's try and bam, and <laughs> nothing. <laughs> yes, and that's why uh, you can see uh, people are using uh, copper uh, and uh, nickel in combination like this so you use a uh, nickel strap as I infuse to infuse it inside the copper and let's try and nothing <laughs> yeah the copper st uh, strip is uh, warm and yeah that's how it works of course with the standard uh, with the sta just the nickel strap, I will even lower the power because it will hard the battery. Yeah, and just like in the same spot. And we've got pretty nice solder. Yeah, weld, what, whatever. Ah, yeah, as we can see it dirt, so yeah, it was about fine, yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, I need something better and much more expensive. And there comes another level of spot welders. Uh, those are capacitor spot welders. <laughs> those are expensive uh, as too much. <laughs> and uh, I've got uh, the AW with Z, whatever this name. Uh, its power is about 24 kilowatts which is totally uh, amount of the out of the world. Let's see what's inside with the smaller box. Now let's open it like this. Okay, we've got cables. Oh, okay. So uh, we've got tips. They are advertising that that's not that's not the pure copper uh, tips. I don't know. 
Well, you got tips installed, and uh, that's pretty heavy. I'm not sure if I like this type of insulation, but yeah, as you can see, the cable is. Yeah, no, of course, pure copper, but I'm not sure if this insulation is great. But okay, that's the first probe, that's the second probe. We've got. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I have no idea what's that. Oh, fit. Okay. And we've got some nickel strap. Very thin. And battery holder. <laughs> of course, 19650. And we've. <laughs> okay. That's it from this. And okay, another smaller box. And there is a power supply 9 volts, 15 amps. Yes, so uh, we've got like higher rated uh, voltage capacitors 9 volts, that's strange. No, but okay, we've got the uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. There it is. That's not 500 euro spot welder. <laughs> okay, that's how it looks like. Okay. Oh, okay, I, I feel like uh, everything is on this place, on this side. Uh, about half is empty, that's what I feel. Okay, we've got the connector X360. Yeah, it's. Yeah, the model, etc. Danger. Do not place welding pens in contact. Okay. And that's how it looks like. Trigger interface. Okay. Mm. Well, too expensive for its size, but okay. Let me set it up. Yeah, as you can see, the battery is charging. And if I Turn it on. Yay! Okay, welding mode, manual, preheating zero. Two milliseconds, gear ten. One spot weld and... Okay, that's how it goes. Mm, and what about gear? Yeah, you see correctly. Oh my gosh. Uh huh, and we are increasing. Oh, okay, okay. We are we've got gear and we can increase, but as we can see, okay, okay. What now? How to go to settings? Is it? No, it's not. Um. Nothing happens. Oh, there we've got settings. Okay. Pretty decent amount of options. And there, oh. Okay, system settings. Loading sound, open screen brightness, rotation, time shutdown. Ah, oh, you don't need to check to the settings. Oh my gosh, it's. Oh, welding experience? Okay, uh, so it's not worth to entering settings. Okay, it's pretty slow, but we can see the battery is charging. So we are charging the capacitors. But I have totally no idea what uh, gear I should use and where. Okay, let's leave it for a charge and I will try to find it out and connect everything. After about one hour of playing, I think I found a pretty good way to uh, spot weld uh, nickel uh, strap and the copper plate. Uh, the settings that I'm using is, as you can see, 
uh, generally max power and one uh, weld. And that's it. I'm in manual mode. And uh, how it will look like, because uh, in this uh, case I swapped to just standard tips that you can buy anywhere else uh, with pure copper. And uh, I see that uh, one probe is attached to the uh, nickel strap, which can make it tear. Uh, so uh, I think I've got a way for that. So uh, if we want to do it like this, let me take that. I will make uh, first uh, welds in the middle. Oh my gosh, yeah. I will make first welds in the middle. And now, as we can see, one uh, is attached. And uh, I can do more, more. And yeah, after I did, okay. This happened because I, yeah, teared a little bit of the nickel and there was a gap. But yeah, whatever, it's for showing purpose. And uh, what we can see now, uh, I feel the copper is uh, pretty warm, but uh, the weld is uh, very strong. There is no way that, yeah, let's try to tear it out. Oh my gosh, I, ah, I can't, oh. yes. <laughs> yes. So that's how you make a strong weld. And uh, in this example, I used a, a 0.2 millimeter uh, um, copper sheet and uh, 0.2 millimeter nickel strap. And yeah, I recommend that. <laughs>